Hey everyone, I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. So, uh, I think uh, we're going to do some more MSQ stuff. Mom's going to hop on here in a little bit. So, until then, let's just uh, progress through this, and here we go. Okay. So, i got to talk to the Swift, the Flame Commander. <clears throat> this is from General Bond. <clears throat> I follow me. Okay. Real promenade. Is that gonna be? Chamber of rule. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. 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 Sorry about that. Is my audio set the same as it was. Okay. Yeah, it is. Weird. Just sounds a little bit quieter in my headphones. Follow me. Hello. Hi, Mom. <clears throat> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Please kinda progress inside. Kind of taking a little bit of a toll on me, but I'm alright. What is, Mom? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You broke up for a second. What'd you say is taking a toll on me? I didn't hear that. The cold, all oh, the cold. Taking a little bit of a toll on me. Uh, okay. But it's not chemotherapy, so <laughs> I can deal. Yep. I slept funny, so my yep. lower back hurts. Commander oh, Swift has kept us that. apprised of your recent activities. Oh, it's called being old. Made great strides towards Hayden, the other day, was coming down the steps. Despite our best efforts to determine what provoked this uprising, yes. Oh, sorry, there's, there's a cutscene. And, uh... Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? She was, um... I can do this. This information does not leave this room. The Syndicate's decision to reject the Doman refugees' appeal for asylum had lasting repercussions. Wow. A number of those displaced by the calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination. Yeah. Together with a group of Alamegan refugees, they organized uh, a series of demonstrations of to protest against the Sultanate. Demonstrations which became heated, You're but did not descend into violence. No, I'm not. I, I, yeah, no, I'm not. Until a certain really? incident served as a uh, call to all. So. No, 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 the other one. Oh, that's a unit of brass tree. blades sent to supervise a demonstration um, loosed that's arrows right. upon unarmed protesters. I've done it. That's, no, you, it was this atrocity which prompted the refugees kids. to take up arms. No. I need not tell no, you what well, happened. The next before. one is the uh, We assumed at first that the attack was Shiva. born of a miscommunication. I don't know that's that where is. I'm emotions at. run high, they happen. Yeah. But suspicions oh. were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Interesting. Okay. Man, sure enough, really looks messed up. He got all those scars on his face. Confirmed. Okay. The oh, yeah. dog Dude's confessed been through a lot. that a merchant mm -hmm. had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Taleji Adeleji. Taleji Adeleji. But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause. Yeah, he did. And has ever seemed sympathetic towards the refugees' plight. Why would he do such a thing? Know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? Nope. It is a proposal <clears throat> to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. When last I looked, that was disputed territory. 
Aye. Some might even call it a battlefield. Are we gonna, are we gonna get a flashback here? Or? The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. What is less oh, well okay. known is that his rampage laid bare oh. ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Yet differ though we may, we are still allies. Again. Therefore, what? in the interest of preserving the Aeorzean alliance, I don't know if it's really a flashback. It's when Bahamut came agreement. and destroyed stuff. He's talking about the Cartano Flats. Any conflict which may arise uh -huh. during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. So get, get, get. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, oh. Telegi Adelegi proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. The Cartano Reclamation Bill. A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. Are you recording? Yes. If successful, okay. he will gain control uh -huh. over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. So here I thought Lulurito was going to be the bad guy. The unity of the Aeosian Alliance. And it seems no. like Teleji is gain. the bad dude. Yes. I did he not see that coming. <laughs> I thought for sure it was Lulurito. Look at he that little grimace. Oh, his own. little jerk. Independent of any faction and beholden to greedy, none like of his fellows said, on know? the syndicate. The other yeah, but, guy. Well, yeah, but he's not a nice guy. Little Rito was kind of greedy too, but I guess he's not that greedy. He hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. Yeah, Telegi is like a bad dude. Is what you're saying? Sympathy for the plight of the Domans was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Little jerk. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Telegi Adelegi to go to such lengths? I can't. Uh, what see is it right so now. special about these cutscene. ruins that he would risk his oh, position right. on the not, syndicate uh, in a party and, either. most no. likely, charges yeah. of treason against the Sultanate? Oopsie doops. <laughs> Omega. Pardon? Pardon? The neighbors are home. An oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon, may have larger. We know not. Man, it it has today, yet to huh? be fully excavated. You had a little bit of snow on my car. Alagon inscriptions indicate yeah. that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. Oh, some machine thing created by Bahamut. If accurate, it might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats. Given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation, destroying the one Three weapon minutes. which could stay the Five. Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. When first hey, I bore witness to the power of the Ultima weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon. One which could contend with Bahamut. Oh, wow. Bahamut! Aye. There's a weapon we that can contend with ourselves. Bahamut. Truth be told, until the Ultima weapon's existence came to light, I don't, well, I don't remember the inscription question, had been mistranslated. It's a guess how many sightseeing vistas I have At done. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since Total? ceased to function. Mm -hmm. As such, 82. its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. 74 out of 80. However, oh, okay. if someone Another were someone. to restore it, as Had the Galeans did the Ultima weapon, um, I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. I have to uh, do all these, <clears> and then the next power thing enough to subjugate Uldar like his nut, and okay, the rest of Eorzea besides. Button. Which is doubtless why mm. Telegi Adelegi yearns to. <laughs> I like his name though, Telegi Adelegi. It's fun to say. It is Tele fun. Telegi Adelegi. World domination. There's he who 62 has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Heaven's work. Tis in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this but in power. in order to unlock them, War you have to do the all first should 20. We allow him to have it. Which I did not know. 
And now I'm oh. just chopping them off my list Pretty because I can't no do anything else. Chasing rats. Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. Somebody was at the door. It would Your seem house? the implications of no, the, the, in the game. Somebody was at the door during our meeting. Far reaching than we assumed. Oh. Timer. Roban wasn't uh hopped up real quick. He's about ready to crack some skulls. Okay. Quest complete. Alpha here. Looking out here. Uh, yeah, the chaos was the product of one man's lust for power sickens me. How do you think they intend to hide the existence of Omega from the Scions? No, it would be best interest to learn more about the military activities in the disputed territories. Fortunately, you are already well positioned to do so. Pray, keep us informed developments of Cartano. Okay. So I have to go to Cartano, it looks like? Be gone, whelp. There's no place for children. Be gone, whelp. This guy is some, called somebody a whelp. Sniff, How sob, rude. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the little, uh, it's the kid from the merchant that I, uh, or like during that merchant thing, trying to find the merchant. The oh, refugee okay. merchant, the kid that helped me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who left with my parents. Yes. You know this girl? Uh, yes. I, uh, got some information from her for that merchant person. So he visited Stone Throw as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. That merchant got that arrow through his chest. I forgot about that. Okay. Sure. Hot dog. Number 74 down. He's telling yeah. me a secret. You see, no one is allowed to listen. Mayhap, you could wait for me by that pillar over there. We may require but a moment. 16. Okay. Hmm. This one, 1019. 16 is before 1019. <laughs> Get a phone call. Head. Yeah, I know okay. but I must ask you to return Revenant's toll. Why don't we do that, Ashley? For a second, I thought it was going to put me in Revenant's Toll. I was like, oh, maybe it's going to put me in Revenant's Toll. Nope. Just kidding. Like. I guess. It had me tricked, bamboozled. Okay. So, Revenant's Toll. Nope. Wait. Big Nebit. I always get turned around in here. It's like four days until the Christmas event I saw. Oh yeah. That'll give me something to do. That'll be fun. I might have to do it by myself because I'm tired of waiting for people. Christmas event Just you don't have to wait tired. for. Huh? So the Christmas event you can do with everybody, nobody has to wait. Yes, sir. Because who knows when you guys will do it. I play like as much as anybody. It's just I have to work all day long and come home. Mom. You don't have to. Yes, Lots I do. I have to make money. Lots don't work. Listen, if my YouTube channel would take off and I got a bunch of subscribers and I could do it, I would just do it full time. <clears throat> okay, I'm talking to Minfilly again. Here's. Uh, oh, I just fell off the roof. Ouchie. <laughs> Thank you for finding my call with such haste. Who's this guy? Oh. Order of the Twin Adder. The Sylphs may have called forth their revered, revered guardian, the Primal Rama. So we're getting now into a thing where some of the other, like, creatures, if you will call them that, are summoning their primals. You know, we had, like, the uh, kobolds and 
um, yes. the whatever they were called, and then the other ones are you know all did their the yeah the homage 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 things whatever. They all did their primals. Now we've got the Sahagan and the Sylphs. Looks like they're doing their primals now. And you kind of had it, I guess, with the Moogles to an extent. But I wasn't really a... I still really don't understand that one. King Moogle Mog. Yeah, it was a little weird. Moogle Mog. I still don't really understand yeah. what that one was. It was it a primal? It was something. I, I don't exactly remember what it was. Someone will remind me, I'm sure. <laughs> this guy looks out of place in our in the Scions right now. Number seventy five. These two have been the, these two have been pretty quiet. This this uh this whole question it's been kind of quiet these this uh for a while now, Papa Limo and Is it Ida. Papa Limo reminds me of Jeremy. Yet another invasion, quicken their efforts to summon their god. Titan and the Cobalt, once again, the affairs of men, which paved the way for a primal's coming. The right building here. Ah, oh, it's over here. Tricky, tricky. What do you get for doing those? Is it achievements or? I'm not sure. Like, oh, okay. the first one I just got, yeah, I got something in the, um, something called Achievements. <laughs> Duh. Let's see, where would that be listed? Exploration. Sightseeing logs. So, for the first 1 to 20, I got 5 of something. 5 stars. And completing entries 1 through 80, I will get a fledgling Apkal, Apkalu, the penguin looking things. I'll get a minion. Uh, is that a little minion? Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. I have to look into doing those after I've gotten through these. <clears throat> these are all leading up to Heaven's Ward. Okay. I've only got a few to go. I gotta go speak with. Borsali Horlo at the Adder's Nest. Okay. Had to be getting close to that trial. Black Shroud. Nugardania. Feel a sneeze coming. God bless you. I hope I didn't get you sick. Ah, uh, okay. I did sneeze, but I muted. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel fine so far, so. Oh, Gridania. I like Gridania. Yeah, it's nice. Gridania's nice. You know what I don't or, like about it? Well, what's that? That you can't use your chocobo. We can't use your truck in any of the main towns. Oh, that's true. It's not but just that seems like it's like outside, you know. Yeah, it you I guess I guess it kind of would feel like you should be able to because it's outside. Yeah, no, but you can off. Yeah, but none. Yeah, but none of the the main things can you. Oh wait, hold on. What? Oh no. Son. Oh, she's just down here. Okay. Yeah, I, I do get it because it's open and stuff. You know, it's in the in yeah, they like, like cliffs. Whereas the other ones like have like actual towns, so they tend to feel um they tend to feel like you should be able to. Uh, they don't feel like you should be able to walk around with it, but silent conjurer. Yes, please. 
Silent conjurers not really silent. They talk to you mean every time I show up here. Yeah, what makes him silent anyway? I think they're lying. I think it's like one of those lies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and here's Maybe. the thing I wonder. Uh, you know when you go into the oh, the lotus, uh, lotus stand? You know how there's like uh -huh. water and there's like logs? I wonder yes. if like, there's anybody like that's coming here. They're like, oh, I can't wait to, you know, meet Kane Asana, you know, and they're like, you know, they got the nice, their nice suit on, their nice pr new shoes, and they just step or just wrong. They step right into the water, and their shoes are all wet, like I just did there, you know. Their shoes are all wet, their socks are wet, and then they're just, oh, they're just upset. I like to think that that happens sometimes. Scions of the oh, seventh wait, dawn, on behalf of the people of Gridania. I bid you I've noticed there's more uh, vocal dialogue in these, great these, these, to us uh, all like in the 2.x to 2.5 uh, patch quest so far. I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a you know short I mean? while ago, the great elemental spoke. Like less like real big things, but they're still dialogue intensity. form. Ramu is returned unto oh, the Oh, Ramu is returned. This has got to be the trial Scarce here. had his words ceased to echo in mine ears when we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. Okay. Oh. Hello. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs, too, have sensed the presence oh, the of the Lord of Levin. creepy, man. Those, like, black doll eyes. It's creepy looking. Though Ooh. his exact whereabouts remain unknown, like we may Josh. safely assume yeah. that the primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Unlike the other primals you have encountered, no Lord avatar. Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength, serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelve's work, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Mm. Somehow I Blessed doubt it. Blessed as you are with the power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. The Twelves Wood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. Oh. You have my thanks. Okay. Pray make for little solace then. Right. Order A member of the Order of the Twin Adder awaits okay. you there. He will advise you on how to is find Lord the Ramu? Lord of Levin. Is that what it was? Lord Ramu? Fireface guy? No, I mean, I don't remember how to say the name. Blows through the forest. Because oh, I, I forgot already. <laughs> Yet, it is not only the Twelve's Wood that flinches at its coming. All the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation. Have care. Her voice actress sounds a little bit different. Maybe it's just because it's been a while since I've heard her. <clears throat> uh, Connie Asana. She just sounded a little bit different to me. Hawthorne Hut. Lord of Levin. Speak with a serpent, lieutenant, and little soul. So, what's that where I'm going? Yes. Okay. Come, Dwight. Let's fly. Ashley, Jeremy, and I were at the dentist today. I saw. There we go. Yeah. Got to talk to the serpent lieutenant. Told to expect you to understand. You go to Primal Ramu, Ramu himself. Ramu, I think it's Ramu. An, an, an unenviable task, one for which I doubt you are well suited. Um. I 
again, I don't know what to choose here. I guess I'll just choose these. I can take a zipper. Levin, an impression. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, this guy! I remember we had a uh, <clears throat> had a um. Oh shoot! We had a uh. Like a like it was like a flashback thing with him. He was there. I remember that. Okay. So he's got beat. Okay. So, where are we going here? Where are we going? Loving an impression. All over here. And I can fly, so I can cut through all the little things and fly over everything right to where I need to be. Thing of beauty. Axio. Oh, sorry, Dwight. Keep an eye out for the touched ones. Oh, so they're like possessed with that, or uh, influenced by Lord Ramu. I would assume. Is that the bearded guy? Yeah, that's the bearded guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. There yeah, was, he like, was like, like, he was really grouchy. There was like that cutscene with him in it a while back. Like, way a while back. Like, way, 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 way back. Didn't we Axio. do a trial for this? No, there Did was just... Won? No, no, no. It was just like a... It was like a little cutscene where he kind of showed up. Oh, wait. You know what? It might have, might have been a... Tr I know, I, shoot. I don't remember now. I don't remember if there was an actual fight or if it was just he kind of talked. I don't remember. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long. That's like hours and hours and hours ago. That's like... I, I mean that's like him. I mean, that's like back in... That's like back when we first started playing. That might have been, you know what? That might have been before you actually started playing, Mom. I don't remember. The Sylph's Aetherite. for the scions. Easy enough. It's called I'll just hop on Dwight and fly away and find it. Oh, here's the Aetherite. Boink. Violent Screech. Oh, they look angry. That one looks angry. These ones look creepy, but that one's angry. Coming. Dinora betrays thee, servant idol. Oh, servant of idol, yes, that's me. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Oh, there he is. The bearded fella. This beard is huge. It is. So that ridiculous. is a massive beard. That thing's gotta be dirty. You gotta be dragging that thing in the dirt and mud. He doesn't walk, he just floats everywhere. Thou art the bringer of light, bane of Ifrit, Ifrit Titan, Titan, Garuda, Garuda and Leviathan. Leviathan. That's right. I am Ramu, Ramu, guardian of the children of the forest. Thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? Britannians proffer peace? Yeah. Their words are born of delusion. Thine offer, an insult. Wow, it's an insult, huh? He's, he's very cranky. 
Yeah, that's what I said. Thou speakest of harm. I'm a nice fellow. Yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath the thousand solitude. From 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> Even that was too much to ask of man. What a wait. Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Okay. I don't think that's Redonian right. Redonian or Garlean, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the breast of man. Whence sprung this calamitous seed? In the beginning no such duality existed. Were light and dark given form when man was born? It would explain yeah. much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy way. Thou canst not deny the urgings uh, of thine own nature. Right I can't tell you. Okay. I was just wondering if there were different time zones. I'm just curious. Knowing that oh, thy yeah. mere presence here portendeth tragedy. Okay. Wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? I mean, I would like to make peace, my guy. <laughs> I could help you shave your beard. Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed upon Great. my wayward charges. That they should entrust so, so precious oh, a Oh, yeah, I got this crystal, my guy. This purple pink crystal. Thou standest apart. Or as my from daughter's called, pinky purple. Thou art the bringer of light. I. There okay, is something more in oh. thee. I'm standing on top of this tower. I do not have my chocobo out, but I hear Very chocobo well. sound. All I the time. shall consider I thy proposal. Should thou crazy. survive my trial? Because there's nobody up here except this if NPC guy, my the little cause of harmony. and me. I must have proved that thou happens. art fit to play no, the I've role. I've already done that. Whether mine eye, and Without prove to me thereby that thou hast strength so he's gonna enough give me a to test stay here. the darkness which threateneth to consume mm. thee. He's going to try to kill you, test. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. Know that all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. Whoa! Holy crap! That's just that effect. Come to me. Bring like, the lightning. light. I shall await, await thee on the, on the field the battle, of battle. battle. So we're gonna fight him slash kind of not really kill him because he's like not bad, I guess. Not really bad. In the same it is rare yeah. indeed to find you so far oh, from a Oh, Irian Jay's here. He snuck up on us. Oh, there's a splinter cell sound. I like that sound. The Lord of Levin himself. Never this day. Okay. Never till this day had I looked upon his visage, I, save in painted renderings made I faint did, um, by time. I think she's using the bathroom. Ever shall this scene remain etched uh, in my mind's eye. Because I was holding the oven off. You can close it. <coughs> I made myself Beg some pardon, my lady. Because I'm fat. I must beg thine aid on a point of research. It, then? Is this it? If thou I don't art know resolved to face oh. Lord Ramu, still in the cutscene. I would <laughs> ask thy leave to observe Skip the it. event. <laughs> no. Shush. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. You lose. No, I like to watch the cutscenes. I'm just gonna well, stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop like hopping in the Discord when I'm watching cutscenes. I'm just gonna be myself. So you guys can't. Uh, Interrupt me while I'm watching. Don't like, the, you don't the like striking, to me. The striking tree. Not when uh, you tell me to skip cutscenes. Okay. So, uh, I just got to the strike. Confront Ramu at the striking tree hard. So, yes, I'm here. Okay, my uh, time zone is... I, don't, I think I turned that off on accident. Um, what was that at? I don't remember.
I don't remember. Uh, but I think I will end my episode here. Give me one second. Okay. So that'll do it for this one. Um, we've got to do Lord Ramu's uh, trial next. It's hard, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we're in Gridania, I think, right now. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and if you could, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, if you do enjoy what you're watching, anyways. And, uh, yeah, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And, as always, I will catch you in the next one. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.